if a live PD type show comes back, it's going to be fundamentally the same kind of show. Absolutely. But it will have some new procedures in place to ensure that, you know, things like retaining tape, et cetera, are part of what they do. And so there can't be an argument, as was, you know, happened here where video was, was as a matter of policy, destroyed after a certain amount of time, that that won't happen. And that's an easy fix. Um, and, um, and, you know, and, and there, I think there'll be, some, you know, I would expect there'd be some other smaller things. But look, for, live, for a live PD type show to work, it fundamentally has to be, you know, the show. You can't change the show and say, oh, we're going to start doing talk show where we're going to have conversations about. It's still got to be focused on police. They're the stars of the show. We are the, you know, just the, the connectors. The commentators. Yeah, but just sort of, you know, but they're the, you know, the point is, you know, there are people who basically say, oh, they make suggestions about basically creating a talk show. And I'm like, I do talk shows. But that's not what this show is. That's not the place. <laughs> there are, there are, there, listen, the, the news, whether it's Fox News on the right or MSNBC on the left, they have their talk shows yep. concerning the topic yep. of policing. Yep. And, and they bring their experts in or they bring officers, former officers, social justice people and all that. And that's not what live right. PD or the, you know, a, a show like that is. Right. It, it's different. There are enough of them out there already that do do that. And I think that's the beauty of it. It's spontaneity of the show. You never know what's going to happen. No, and that's we did. you kind of tune in and you're like, yeah. I think one of the things that I think is pretty funny is you guys are taping this live, but you, what did you call it that you have? You have a delay. Well, yeah, I mean, that was one of the big questions is, is this thing on a delay? There is, just like Live PD, there's a, a, a small built-in delay for things, and there was one on that show. Um, but what would come across a screen that the viewers at home would see? We're shooting it in real time. It's shot in real time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're seeing it for our first yeah, time just, you know, as it happens of, as well. Because it's police work, because you know there, you know, there was an incident mm -hmm. where someone um, shot themselves uh, it would have been. Live. It would have, Well, it didn't happen live because there was a delay, um, and as a result, you know that didn't make it on air, um, and um, and that's you know and there are there are instances where maybe an undercover upper, undercover officer will suddenly show up on a scene where they have to be careful. I mean, there just there are a few instances because it is real police work with real people. There are privacy issues. You know, someone starts yelling and screaming phone numbers. Um, and start saying, blank person rape me, which has happened, you don't want that going out on the air. So, so there has to be uh, a, a bit of a delay, more so than just a second, right, as we have, or a few seconds as we have sometimes in, in news. But it doesn't fundamentally change the live nature of, of what we're doing and with what is coming out on the air. Yeah, and, you know, I'll give you an example. During season one, I started out on the uh, out on the streets in a car, and I had a deal where I came across a guy that I had dealt with prior, um, you know, to that incident, and he starts talking to me about some just as you were talking about some confidential stuff that you can't have on the air. I mean, it, you right. know, for his safety, he's a he's a gangster that you can't have other gangsters people sitting at home watching that and knowing, hey, this guy's oh, talking to the police. So that was one of the deals. And I remember I turned right to the producer that was – we had a field producer that was out there. I said, hey, this can't, this can't be on and, – can't and, be on and air. And let's be clear. I mean, one of the things that, you know, it, it, it is up, in, up to the producers in the end as yes. to what makes it on the air. I mean, Sean could say that. that but, and, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to listen to him. Correct. Yeah, that's <laughs> – I mean, it's part of the contract, right. you know, is right. that, that, right. that, that they get final but, say. But – in a situation like that, where there's a clear and compelling argument, and it's not just, oh, it makes us look bad, right? right? No. That's the stuff where, you, you know, that's the stuff where it can't happen. But Sean's saying, this guy just said stuff that's going to get him killed. Yep. You know, the producers are going to inevitably um, agree to that. Yeah. Well, and, you know, an example I give just when people want to talk about the live thing, I'm like, listen, at sporting events, uh, there's people that streak naked and run across the football field, but you're sitting at home – watching the football game on Monday Night Football, you never see that. It's because right. there's a delay there enough that they can go, hey, we, you know, let's cut that camera to showing the sideline yeah. type of deal. Well, one of the things that's most interesting about that is some of the police departments you get. How do you guys go about finding these police departments? How do you – Yeah. what do you look for? So 
It's you basically look, casting, isn't it? Well, mm, I mean, look, you look for a, the one. You look for a diversity in the departments. Um, you want different kinds of departments. You want big city. You want some rural. You want sheriff. You want police. Uh, you want troopers. You know, dif- having different kinds of departments, I think, because they do different kinds of stuff, um, is good. Um, you know, we don't get to decide which officers go out. I mean, Sean can tell you from behind the scenes that the department decides. Yeah, um, and, yeah, and so. Uh, Listen, I mean, we have a pre a pre show meeting, a production meeting before every episode, and we sit in there, and I don't want to call it a lineup, but we literally get handed a piece of paper, and it tells us what departments are on and what officers are writing that night, and that's the that's the first we know about it, and the the people that are involved in the production, the departments pick, you know, who they want to have uh, representing their police department on television. And we have zero say about it. And listen, there's some officers that right. We have boring nights because say, they're officers who are not good characters. Not, exactly, sure. exactly. That's policing. That's right. and that's, that's part. <laughs> and that's exactly it. And that's so. Going back to you asking about the departments, it is. You want to show the diversity. You don't want to just show one type of policing that has happened. And that's why it's literally spread from Florida to Washington, or you know, from Connecticut to Southern California. It's going to show. Hey, this is policing in America. And these are the different things in different parts of the country that these guys are dealing with, these men and women are dealing with. Well, I kind of feel like I'm interviewing you guys for live PD. So yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah. to roll this back a little bit. So I, tell me about your first experience with live PD. Um, you know, when the, uh, when the crew came in, they kind of set up shop right there in our office in the gang unit. And, uh, you know, just because it was a brand new show, I don't know, maybe a week or two before it actually went on air. I think they started writing with us just to, for them to kind of start working out some of the technical things of sending this back to New York and how do they get it out on air uh, and stuff like that. And then we went live. We went live on a Friday night and it was for two hours. Two hours flies by. Um, the show, and correct me or feel free to jump in anytime, Dan, you know, it started building up a, uh, a viewership pretty rapidly over the first few weeks and not then, but you know it took some took some time it did it took yeah, time yeah, yeah. It, it, but it's then, not like immediately it was no on it wasn't and everyone was like oh, oh my god this yeah shit. No, no no and no. then they wanted to hey we're gonna try we're gonna try a third hour because it's you know i don't want to say stories police work is not a story it's not a fictional created thing i mean they're real events that are happening out there uh you know as far as the profession and that were happening on the show but in policing you can have an incident we'll just we'll say an armed robbery you know that would happen well cops might spend five hours tracking down a suspect and so you that is a it's a story in its sense of watching it develop and come to you know a, a conclusion so the show wanted to say okay some of these things we're having to go off the air that are still happening we're missing out on you know things that are happening so they wanted to try a third hour so when a third hour found out it was better for the show yeah so pretty soon there was three hours every friday and then i remember the time hey we want to try a saturday well i had saturdays off and i was yeah. i was not a fan of it i was like <laughs> yeah, shit yeah, man yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm already giving up my friday night you know to to, to be a part of the show because i work typically during the day obviously we we worked a lot of evenings anyways um but so they tried a saturday night and again it went well and it's it was friday and saturdays Every every weekend from then on, and occasionally a Wednesday or a Thursday yep. or a Tuesday, they throw an episode in. So, it it, it is you know a, a police officer's car is his office. Um, that's like thinking about having somebody, two or three people, just sitting in your office documenting everything you do. It takes a little while to get used to. Um, you know, just having you and your partner, and then two guys sit in the back seat of your car. Now, I will say this, and I one hundred percent mean this: they don't. They can't ask to go to any type of call that pops out on the radio. They don't ask to stop a car. They don't ask, hey, that person over there is, you know, dressed, interesting. Let's get out and talk to them. They have zero input on any of that. It's whatever the officers are going to do or whatever the radio, you know, directs that officer to do, the the police radio. Um, And then they just document it. So the only time they are really talking, interacting with this is a call would go out on the radio. Well, they're not familiar with police 10 codes or something like that and all of a sudden you know i hammer the gas down and i start taking off to something and they're like where are we going what are we heading to adam 12 and so you tell them hey man there's a a guys are in a foot chase we're four blocks away um and that's where you know they would be able to then because they're talking live to somebody back in new york um and then they're like hey 
you know, here in Tulsa, they're heading to a foot chase. We're a couple blocks away. And so that's when Dan goes back to what Dan was talking about. There's, that's how focused people have to be to quickly make these decisions for us to, you know, fast forward to back in studio to go, hey, we're going to jump to Tulsa. They're heading to a foot chase right now. Gotcha. Well, then let's fast forward a little bit. How did he end up? I know he did a couple of guest spots, right? Who sticks? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, look, he can't, we, what we were doing is we'd have different officers who were in the field come in and do analysis, talk about what's happening, et cetera. Sean was one of them. Um, and, you know, he took pretty naturally to it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that that sort of led to a more regular uh, gig with him. And it ended up, in the end, coinciding with probably would have would have been his retirement time anyway. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think it all ended up working out pretty well. 